Keeping pace with rapidly accelerating technology is a daunting task for educators to take on, but at the same time, when used effectively, technology can help demystify engineering and keep students at every level interested and engaged. So joining me now to discuss this is ASWE CEO Jacqueline El Sayed. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, my pleasure. So we've heard a lot in the last year about the growth of artificial intelligence in every industry and in education in particular. Uh, we're seeing more of it being used in education, you know, in classrooms. Has that been a challenging transition for educators? Um, I would say yes, uh, although because we're engineers, right, we're used to using technology and one of the things that happens all, all the time is that technology is rapidly and more rapidly changing. So um, I would say that AI is kind of divided into two areas of, that faculty are concerned about. One is just the ethics of it because um, by using AI in the classroom, students might be having assistance, right? Uh, and so they have to learn how to be able to provide notation so that they're not taking that credit for that. And that is a, a quite a, a huge issue for faculty. But the other part is just these are just powerful tools. And the engineers of the future need to be able to collaboratively work together with these powerful tools. And with that, the human side, the empathy, and again, the ethics of how to use those powerful tools is very, very important. That's been incorporated into the engineering classroom. Uh, and But it also allows for students to be able to explore, and engineers in particular love to explore and tinker and try things, so I think it's very positive. And so how does ASWE's industry partnerships help uh, educators with these changes, implementing these changes? Sure. ASWE has something called the Corporate Members Council, and these are members of industry who are particularly focused on um, engineering education. Um, and we have quite a few uh, work that we do with them. For example, we had an initiative called the Future Ready Engineering Ecosystem, where we brought together uh, corporate members and uh, educators to really discuss what will be the changes and what will a future engineer look like. So what does future engineering look like? And what it does, what one of the outcomes is really that engineers and corporations will need to work together as technology changes so rapidly. And you've talked about the future of engineering. We've talked in the last year, several years, about an engineer shortage. So using this new technology, can that help kind of demystify engineering, bring new people into the fold and hopefully get us out of the shortage? That's true. Um, because technology is changing, that means we even need more and more, that the shortage is even increasing, right? Um, and so I would say that demystifying engineering through AI-type tools could start in K-12, right? Because those students that are interested in engineering can tinker uh, and, and, and try things out. And that really gets them interested, but also does demystify because one of the barriers is that um, students don't really know what engineering, what do, what do engineers do, right? It, it's just, it, it's, it, it is unknown. So be, being able to try things out, look at things, um, and uh, see what engineers really do, I think that's how I became an engineer, and future engineers would also be doing that. How does ASWE help educators that want to implement this new technology in their classrooms? Well, what, what we really do here is, those are our members, right? K-12, higher ed, um, faculty and administrators, that is really what makes ASWE unique. Uh, and so we provide professional development, uh, we have conferences like this, we have divisions which are community practices which the educators can discuss together, and that really helps our, ed our faculty then uh, try out new things, learn, and, and discuss things together. And so that is really what, really, that community practice and the um, the community that ASW brings together is really what makes um, educators thrive. Well, it's a brave, exciting new world for all of us. Jacqueline, I say thank you for your time. My pleasure.